Does masturbation cause kidney failure? Watch till the end to uncover the real culprit. Number nine, semen is kidney juice. You think every climax is like withdrawing essence straight from your kidneys, like lining up at an ATM with a strict withdrawal limit. But here's the truth. 98% of semen is just water. The rest is mostly fructose, minerals, and a pinch of protein. Less than 0.2 grams, way less than that rogue peanut under your keyboard. A urologist once joked, if a peanut could bankrupt your kidneys, a bubble tea would be biochemical warfare. At a research center in Shanghai, scientists compared kidney filtration between two groups. One ejaculated twice a week, the other twice a day, for three months. The results? Their creatinine and EGFR levels stayed flat, like parallel bullet trains. Number eight, back pain after masturbating equals kidney distress. Late at night, your back aches. Social media whispers, that's your kidneys crying. But the truth is much more muscular. Ejaculation increases your breathing rate, contracts your abs and back muscles hard, and when it's all over, those muscles release suddenly, like post-workout soreness after an overambitious plank. Place a warm bottle on your lower back and stretch for a minute. Pain gone, myth debunked. Your kidneys are still there, quietly filtering blood, no shift change needed. Number seven. Three times a day means dialysis at 30. Your friend warns, keep going like that and you'll roll into the dialysis ward by 30. Science rolls its eyes. A study of over 25,000 chronic kidney disease records in South Korea found no correlation between ejaculation frequency and kidney failure. If only kidney damage were that simple, doctors could just hand out pamphlets banning solo work. Instead, the real villains have familiar names, high blood pressure, diabetes, and smoking, three daily welcomed robbers we keep pampering. Number six, masturbation creates kidney stones. Stones thrive in concentrated calcium-rich urine. They don't count orgasms, they count your hydration. A 29-year-old designer drank less than a liter of water a day, adored black coffee, and sat for eight-plus hours. Stones showed up. His solo history? Milder than yogurt at breakfast. The urologist's advice? Drink water first. Debate frequency later. Number five. Ejaculation drops blood pressure, shuts down kidneys. Yes, climaxing causes a quick spike, then drop in blood pressure. It's like flooring the gas, then slamming the brakes. But kidneys aren't rookies. They have an auto-regulating system that maintains steady blood flow, no matter the turbulence. You pant for 30 seconds, then panic. I'm dizzy. Are my kidneys failing? Try standing up, sipping some water. Dizziness gone. Your kidneys are still on night shift, more professional than you think. So how many of these myths got you? Drop the number in the comments and hit like if you're still curious. Number four, masturbating at night harms kidneys more than during the day. The internet claims your body produces kidney-protecting hormones from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m., and ejaculating during this sacred window is betrayal. Reality, that time frame is for melatonin release, your body prepping for deep sleep. It's staying up late that drains you. Scrolling TikTok at 1 a.m., then blaming masturbation is like forgetting to turn off the shower and accusing morning dew of flooding the bathroom. Number three, female masturbation ruins kidneys faster. Anonymous chat rooms say, girls who masturbate hurt their kidneys more than guys. In truth, kidney anatomy doesn't change with gender. The slight differences in EGFR scores between men and women come from muscle mass, not orgasms. Ironically, women often miss early kidney disease signs due to vague symptoms and hesitation to get checked. This myth distracts from the real dangers, preeclampsia, UTIs, and shady diet pills. Number two, losing vital essence leads to weakness, kidney failure. Each ejaculation burns about 20 kilocalories, not even half a cookie. If half a cookie makes you collapse, then your kidneys would already be fried after taking three flights of stairs. Fatigue usually stems from sleep deprivation, extreme dieting, or chronic stress. Blaming masturbation is like yelling at the mailman for delivering a garbage bag. Wrong guy, wrong address. Number one, the real culprits. Dehydration plus excess sodium plus high blood sugar plus nicotine. While you treat yourself, you forget to hydrate, cling to your laptop, munch salty chips, and sip sugary soda. The moment you close the screen, the rumor court hands down its verdict. Masturbation murdered your kidneys. But under the microscope, your kidneys are silently struggling, not with pleasure, but with filtering out salt, sugar, and smoke. Give them what they really need, 2 to 2.5 liters of clean water daily, less than 5 grams of sodium, balanced blood sugar, and a cigarette break. Forever. Do that, and you can have fun as much as you like. Your kidneys will happily sign off. So, how many myths did you just bust? Drop an emoji to remind your friends to drink water. Share this with anyone still trembling over Netflix-induced kidney failure. And subscribe next week on Leo Busts Myths. Does ice water cause cancer?